All right, guys, day two in foggy London town. We're going to breakfast right now, and I gotta tell you guys, this breakfast at the Vanderbilt Hotel in Kensington is amazing. It's probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had, and by far the best hotel breakfast I've ever had. I'm so excited to show it to you. Over here you got your basic hash browns, eggs, streaky bacon, sausage, beans, we don't have that in America, and roasted tomatoes and mushrooms. How's breakfast, Alyssa? There's beans. There's beans. I like beans. I love the hot chocolate. It's the best hot chocolate I ever ate. Day two, we're on our way to the Victoria Albert Museum to go check out the Frida Kahlo exhibit. I guess the exhibit tours around and it's like her actual stuff that she owns. The weather is not as good today as it was yesterday. It's actually raining a little bit. Is it real T-Rex bones though? Yeah, I mean, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure they're plaster casted molds. So I went into that one and then Because dinosaurs aren't fake. It never existed. And the earth is the flat. The earth is flat, I forgot. And dinosaurs are uh, fake. It's all a big joke. the other side of the earth. We're not falling off. It clearly it has be to be flat. this exhibit guys all this old Japanese technology I guarantee you this makes the bombest rice so this is from 2003 this is a u w 11k phone but this reminds me of the first sprint cell phone that had a camera I had that phone. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same phone, just in a different case. So, it's raining right now. Check out the sky. Super gray, right? It's not raining super bad. It was raining way worse earlier. I guess it hasn't rained for 40 days. So, as far as dice rolls are concerned, we were we were bound to get some rain. But we're kicking it, doing mellow stuff. We already did the museum. You saw some of that. Unfortunately, I couldn't film a ton because there's no cameras allowed. So yeah, I think we're off to another museum or some type of indoor activity. We might be going to the Beatles uh, Zebra Crossing at Abbey Road Studios. I'm not sure. But right now, we stopped here at the currency spot slash post office so that Luna can mail her postcards back to her friends in the States. So let's go check it out.
is for my karate. And this one is for Let me see Preston the Howard. I want to see the picture. This one is for Baby. This one is for Izzy. This one is for Wari. Oh my gosh. And that's it. We're heading to the Sherlock Holmes Museum because, it's, like I said, it's rainy and we got to do inside stuff. But we get to go to the tube for the first time, or for Alyssa's first time. I've been to the tube. Are you excited to go to the tube? I've been on the subway in New York before. No, 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 no. This is a tube. The underground. The underground. Mind the gap. A bit of poor planning on our part but we got to the Sherlock Holmes Museum about 30 minutes before it closed and for us that's just not worth it to pay 30 bucks only to get to go in for like a half hour or so so we're adjusting the plan there's the sweet Beatles gift shop right next to the Sherlock Holmes Museum so we're about to go check that out and see whatever else happens for the rest of the day Okay, word on the street is we might actually be able to go in the museum for a normal tour just as long as we get our tickets and get in the door before they close at 6, which is in like 22 minutes. So I'm going to go investigate this just like my boy Sherlock would. Update, Accio tickets. Time to wait in this line, which actually isn't too long. Everything you see here is exactly as it would have been when Sherlock Holmes lived here from 1881 to 1904. This means that all of the artifacts on display are real Victorian antiques, more than 100 years old. Museum, but I have some input for that in my opinion. It wasn't worth it to go It's about 20 bucks a person. So for all three of us. It was 60 bucks kids were free But you could do the whole museum in about 15 minutes 20 minutes half an hour depending on how big of a Sherlock Holmes fan you are I mean if you want to see really cool old Victorian stuff might be worth it or if you're a huge Sherlock Holmes fan might be worth it, but Maybe just go in the gift shop and grab you a Sherlock Holmes hat and you'll be good versus paying 20 bucks to walk around an old house and see some 100 year old stuff. Just my two cents, but it might save you guys 20, 40, 60 bucks. Who knows? Time to 
That was a pretty packed train. What do you think about that, Alyssa? <laughs> in, in, imperceptible shoulder shrug. What was wrong with it? Packed, sweaty, hot. Smells like frozen yogurt. What? <laughs> Luna, what'd you think about your first time riding the tube? So we are back in the Kensington area, making our way back to our hotel. Alyssa has a live stream to watch of her boyfriend in the, what's it called? Uh, the Vanguard Cadets. Vanguard Cadets, drum corps. So she wants to get back to the hotel where she has Wi-Fi. Oh, check out the cute puppy. Be careful, he must be a little bit. Do you want to take a picture of them? Heading back into the hotel. I'm super duper tired. I fell asleep for like 12 seconds on the tube. So we found pizza. We found, it. <laughs> we found pizza. I mean, we found food for dinner. The kids are so tired that it's just me and Rosa for dinner. Um, check out this pizza. Super bomb pizza here at Pizza Express in London. I'm sure it's not the best pizza or the most authentic, but it's really good and it's next door to our hotel. We're gonna bring another one back for the kids. I think Rosa likes it. Is it good enough to get the Big Mike head nod? Dang. You're dead asleep and you woke up for pizza. That's it for today's video, guys. Click up here to watch yesterday's video. Sorry, it was kind of short. We just didn't really do that much stuff. It's raining, et cetera, et cetera. Excuses, excuses. But I promise to make the next episode a lot of fun. So tune in, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace out from the Reezy fam.